2020, more enterprise organizations depend on cloud technologies and the providers who offer them. Some of these companies use the cloud to migrate and run their applications, while others have it as a plan B for the continuous operation of their most critical workloads. It naturally leads to an increased demand for data protection and disaster recovery. These are some of the main reasons that cause the fast expansion of disaster recovery as a service market. Also, this is a great opportunity for cloud providers to sell extra services to their existing customers and to extend their portfolio in a way that will attract new ones. To address these needs, we introduce you to VMware Cloud Director Availability. It is a flexible and unified solution that is easy to deploy, simple to work with, and has native integrations with some other VMware products like vSphere and Cloud Director. Now let's review the most common use cases and what the providers need to do to onboard their customers. One of the most popular use cases covered by VMware Cloud Director Availability is the migration of an on-premises vCenter environment to the cloud. Even though it may seem like a very complex and time-consuming operation, in reality it is pretty straightforward because of the native integrations that vCDA has with vCenter and Cloud Director. To accomplish that, cloud providers have to supplement their existing cloud director setup with a VCDA tunnel, a replicator, and cloud replication management, which also includes the VCDA admin portal. And in terms of tenants, the only requirements are to deploy the VCDA appliance with the proper settings. Of course, they can do that by themselves as a self-service, or the cloud provider can offer it as a managed service. Once all this is done, the relevant workloads can be seamlessly migrated to the cloud. Another popular service is disaster recovery for on-premises environments to the cloud. Looking at the architecture, it's identical to the previous scenario with the same requirements for both providers and tenants. However, in this case we talk about VMs that need to be kept up to date and powered on in case of a failure. The variety of settings and statistics gives the providers enough control to offer tiered disaster recovery as a service to their customers and to implement it efficiently. Apart from the on-premises to cloud migrations and disaster recovery, you can also do cloud to cloud disaster recovery using VMware Cloud Direct Availability. It's a great fit for providers who run multiple cloud sites and want to extend their customer offerings with such a service. Regarding their architecture, the requirement will be to have a VCDA tunnel, replicator and cloud replication management in all cloud sites with the proper configurations that will allow them to communicate. From the tenant perspective, it is very simple and clear to adopt the service as they don't need to deploy or maintain anything additional, but just operate with the VCDA UI and follow the steps for workload protection. And now let's have a look at the VMware Cloud Director Availability UI from the provider perspective. This is the main dashboard of VMware Cloud Director Availability, where you can see some general statistics like the number of connected on-premises and cloud sites, the number of replicated VMs and vApps, and the required resources for these replications. You can find some extra information on the sites menu where you can see the number of incoming and outgoing VMs and also the owner of each site. A breakdown of the required number of CPUs, memory and disk space per tenant can be found on the resources menu. This can be very handy when doing capacity planning. With the SLA profiles and replication policies, it is very easy to define different tiers of the provided services and manage numerous tenants. Some of them come out of the box like the bronze, silver and gold. However, you can define your own SLA profiles and replication policies to match the specific offerings you would like to have for your customers in terms of RPO, maximum number of instances, throughput, maximum stored instances, etc. You can also generate a comprehensive report for each tenant to see their traffic and disk usage, which is very useful for billing purposes. As a summary, VMware Cloud Director Availability is a powerful tool that can expand your services portfolio so it matches the market demands. Thanks for watching.